What is going on, my fine people? Fine Line 1721 checking back in. Here to give you guys another quick review. Today, we're going to be taking a look at an upcoming Air Jordan slated for release December 23rd. But before we get into that review, I want to take a quick look at another upcoming Jordan release. Here we have the Air Jordan Retro 1 OG High Yellow Ochre releasing January 27th. Now, this pair and the pair that we're about to review both are shipping out early on fineline1721.com. Also have a full review live on the channel if you want to check that out. And now that we got that out of the way, let's go ahead and get into the main attraction. Getting right into the box, as you can see, we got the standard Air Jordan Retro High OG box dressed in a all green colorway with the orange Nike branding sitting on the top. Now, taking a look at the label, Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG Celadon Sky J Light Olive. Size 11, we're going to be taking a look at. Go ahead and flip the box lid up, peel this paper back. Let's go ahead and get into the shoe. Now that we have these out of the box, let's go ahead and take a closer look at the Air Jordan Retro 1 OG High Celadon. Now these do come with one added accessory. As you can see here, we have the spare pair of laces dressed in the all green colorway with a little bit of faded texture to it as well. And now that we got the accessory out of the way, let's go ahead and take a deeper dive into the shoe. Starting off with that top down view of the shoe, we got the all orange sock liner green insole with the Cell Nike brand is sitting on the top. We have the aged tongue look with the exposed trim, all cell tab with the orange Nike branding sitting on the top. These do come from the factory, laced up with the Cell laces installed, all cell toe box with slight texture to the leather. Now going around to the lateral side of the shoe, as you can see, we got the Chicago style color blocking where you have the accent color right here around the toe, eyelets, and the heel with the secondary color being on the Nike sign and the ankle collar. Every panel that has the green color blocking is dressed in a nice soft suede. The sail mid panel does have a slight texture to it, very similar to the toe box. Now the secondary accent color you see here on the Nike sign and around the ankle collar it's orange, but it definitely kind of has like a faded orange vibe. And it's also like some material that they placed on top of the Nike sign and the ankle collar where it kind of gives it like the effect of when you look at it one way, it gets darker and you look at it the other way, it gets lighter. Kudos to Nike adding just some nice little touches to it to kind of give it the craft effect. Now the Air Jordan wing logo that we have right here on the back, it does come embossed and it's actually kind of like a very, very light green colorway. Almost kind of looks sale, but to me it just looks green. Now going down to the midsole, this is where you will find another aged out sale effect going through the midsole sitting on top of the green outsole. Now going around to the medial side of the shoe, same exact way as the lateral, nothing different there. Now taking that last quick 360, and that about wraps it up for this quick look at the Air Jordan Retro 1 OG High Craft. If you are interested in this pair and you want to pick them up early, head over to the website, fineline1721.com. Please be sure to follow me on Instagram, fineline1721. And into the next video, you guys already know what to do. Be smooth, enjoy life. Bless up.